Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here from reviewsboss.com and I'm just going to show you a really quick strategy today for finding keywords for your affiliate sites, blogs, all those kind of things. You don't need any tools, doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it's actually really fast and quite a lot of fun to do. So all you need to do is jump on Google and just type in a seed keyword for your niche or for your industry. So I've gone with the classic here. Uh, everyone seems to give examples about dog training. So I thought, why not jump in and do the same thing? So I've typed in dog training into Google. Uh, what you see here in the sort of ad and, and map section is going to vary drastically uh, depending on where you live. Um, so you'll see something very different here. But what we're actually looking out for is this section here, people also asked. So depending on exactly what you type into Google, you may or may not see a people also ask box. Uh, if you don't, try a different seed keyword phrase uh, until you see this. And basically what this does is gives you a whole list of real searches that people are putting into Google. Uh, so these are other questions that people are asking Google, basically. And you see a list of sort of initial results. So we can see here, how much does it cost to have your dog professionally trained? What is the best method to train a dog? How do you start training a dog? And so on and so forth. But what's really cool is if you, if you start clicking onto these, um, you know, just start clicking and, and clicking and clicking, um, you know, you, you start getting more and more results come through. So you'll start seeing more come on, you know, what are the seven basic dog commands? Is it too late to start training a dog? So on and so forth. And these are all real searches and they're often very long tail, uh, which is great when you're doing affiliate marketing, content marketing, anything like that, because the issue is you're often competing against, you know, big established sites. You've generally got to go after those lower competition keywords, unless you're very strong in link building or you've got, you know, a really powerful domain. And I know firsthand for a fact that if you just find keywords using this method, create content on them, post them on your site and do it over and over again, you can get some really good results. This is what I do for my own sort of uh, project sites that I'm working on. Uh, and also in my day job as a marketing consultant, uh, you know, I've worked with clients to see really good results in a whole range of industries just following this process. So we'll come up with an idea for a blog topic uh, or a, a content piece for a website. We'll chuck in that seed keyword phrase and then we'll actually see these results in here, pick what would make sense from the perspective of, uh, you know, what we're trying to sell and who we're trying to reach, and then go away and create basically the best resource on this particular question. So if we take that first example, how much does it cost to have your dog professionally trained? Well, you could take that and you could go and create a very specific resource on that, answer that question. And, you know, over time, if you do this consistently, you're going to start seeing more results coming through. Uh, you're going to get more rankings, more traffic. You pick up traffic on those kind of long tail keywords. And it's that compounding kind of snowball effect that works over time. You know, obviously, if you could rank number one for dog training as just a generic kind of broad keyword, well, that would be fantastic. You'd get tons of traffic, but realistically, that's not going to happen. But on the other hand, you have a much higher chance of ranking for some of these niche keywords. Uh, and depending on exactly what they are, you know, there may not be massive amounts of competition. Now, I'm doing this live, so I'm not too sure for this particular example. But if I go in here and then actually check how many uh, sort of exact keyword matches there are for this particular uh, keyword, we can see that there's only a handful of them. Now, of course, Google doesn't work exactly on this basis. It's going to look at uh, any kind of article talking about professional dog training and the cost of it when it comes to actually competing. But you can see here, it's not like there's tons and tons of people actually competing for that very specific keyword. So this would be a potential example of the kind of keyword we might go after. And you can see here, even with this, where we've actually put it in the speech marks, the quotation marks, which is how you check for that very specific phrase appearing on other websites, we can see Google's giving us even more suggestions. So if you're starting out in affiliate marketing, content marketing, building niche websites, whatever you're doing, this is an applicable strategy. You don't need anything beyond Google. You can do it on your phone, iPad, tablet, computer, whatever you use. You don't need to spend tons of money on keyword research software to get started. You can get very, very far with this. Uh, you know, Along with a family member who I work on this project with, uh, we've built up together a really nice little niche website that's starting to grow very quickly doing nothing basically but this exact strategy uh you know and we're reaching tens of thousands of readers a month we, we don't even look at competition or anything like that we simply just go in take a seed keyword chuck it into google see what comes up pick something that makes logical sense for us to write about create the content post it rinse and repeat over and over again that consistency is the key piece so yeah hopefully you find this helpful if you've got any questions leave a comment below uh, click the link in video description for more training and resources on how to build niche websites uh, and kind of how to 
do all of this content marketing effectively and in a kind of long lasting fashion as well so that you can build digital assets i think that's really the key here is if you do this right you're building digital assets so yeah thank you so much please hit the like button if you found this helpful and i'll see you next time